I worked for 15 years this in the uh, Children of Slovakia Foundation, but I don't work there anymore. So this is something that I want to introduce you what worked in our foundation. Sometimes I will use past time, sometimes present, because I work only one year. <laughs> and I'm, still there. So I'm still with my mind <laughs> and there. So I was at the very beginning of, of the foundation. So. And uh, I don't know, there are some mistakes in this, but it's not, it was correct. It was written, written, so I, it I am sorry this for that. <laughs> Uh, this is this actually this 15, 13 years the, we didn't uh, made a campaign f uh, first uh, two first years but we started at the end of the millennium so this is the result of uh, of campaign what we provided uh, across uh, across the country. Thank you. So we started at the end of millennium in 1999. Uh, uh, the, uh, here are some results of the two first year of the campaign. Uh, actually, the idea comes from International Youth Foundation. Uh, it is the worldwide net, uh, and Children of Slovakia Foundation is the member of, of this worldwide net. And Tony Blair uh, in the United Kingdom came with the idea to promise children at the end of millennium and uh, to do something for children. So the idea was to, to raise the last uh, month's uh, uh, last hour salary uh, donate for children and uh, the idea became uh, very popular in all net, whole net. Uh, the most successful countries were Slovakia and Philippines in that time. So we decided to repeat the campaign at the end of, of uh, every year again, again, again. Uh, uh, the first year we, uh, we only produced or issued some TV spots and radio spots. It was, it was very easy in that year because nobody was in, in a TV broadcast and radio in such a campaign. So, uh, but we were the first, so it was very easy. We were everywhere. And we raised uh, the biggest uh, amount of money till uh, till uh, the tenth year. You you see, we we raised the first year was the the, the big success, and then we have to wait ten years to <laughs> to repeat it. Um, uh, the, the reason why we were so successful is uh, there's the, the, uh, several reasons, but the one of it was that we, uh, we the most famous Slovak actress Emilia Vašargala became a, a president of the campaign, and she helped uh, campaign every year. So we use it as a um, as a, one of the trustful celebrities in Slovakia, and she she's really a very nice person. Uh, in second year of the third year, I, I can't remember, we uh, decided to, uh, to design a, a logo or mascot of the campaign and we uh, make a competition in orphanages in Slovakia how we name it. <laughs> and after that, the Hugo was uh, the name. Hugo was the name. So now in Slovakia, everybody, when you say Hugo, everybody knows that Hugo is this this logo, so it is really a uh, nice mm -hmm. color. You can remember in the, uh, also how it looks like it, it's uh, really visible all uh, in the country. Uh, the second year was also known, uh, we started to, uh, to broadcast live TV show and the uh, example came from BBC Children in Need. Uh, it was uh, like uh, our, our uh, um, the examples of what we want to achieve. Uh, and also after first year we uh, awarded first grants and it, uh, I, I put it in presentation because it was very important that people want to know where the money will go. Uh, they donate so much uh, money to, to the campaign so, so the next year they really ask, they call us to, to office and they ask where the money will go. Uh, every year we use uh, different kinds of, of materials uh, like leaflets and, and like this, um, this stuff and, and we use it in, in uh, campaign. 
uh, I became, I, uh, we started the campaign uh, at the very beginning. I was in the foundation. Then I, I, um, I became pregnant, and I stay one and a half year at home. And then I, I uh, became executive director. So the first year I was only like a program manager or something like that. And then I, I work as an executive director after maternity leave. And uh, in that time, also 1% of tax assignation became uh, effect in Slovakia. And uh, we were la really lucky because the company was well known and it, it really helped us uh, in, a ca in another campaign of uh, raise money from 1% of assignation. The first year we really raised the most, uh, uh, the biggest amount of money uh, when we compared to other NGOs in Slovakia. After that, uh, all other NGOs were successful, like us, but we were the first in that year. Also helped us when uh, um, uh, the CEO of the largest Slovak saving bank, Regina Vesnistraka, became a member of the board, and they support the costs for campaign. Uh, also, we were the first uh, foundation that uh, used SMS messages for donation, and also uh, bank machines. Uh, you can you can uh, you can see the, the logo of uh, of campaign, and you can donate using bank machine on the streets. So it also works. But all these uh, all these tools, fundraising tools, uh, works only a uh, limited time. Uh, for example, bank machines uh, we we used uh, only three or five years. And after that, it doesn't work because it's m more easier to send SMS or other use other tools. And we also made survey of the individual philanthropy and and uh, um, if people know the campaign, if people know the logo, and uh, we became really the the most popular and well known campaign in Slovakia. Uh, in a 2005 and uh, six, uh, I put the logo of company Next Level Consulting here because uh, there is a lot of work and a lot of uh, project in the foundation uh, that uh, I decided to make some some uh, order there and and some some uh, manage and some uh, to to re reorganize all foundation. And we invite them, and they um, they gave us uh, diff um, several times. They uh, uh, gave us uh, workshops and some skills how manage our project and how organize all all work in the foundation, um, and it helps a lot. Uh, we also issued publication evaluation and guide for NGO because it was important to uh, to pick up some information from our grantees and we then after that we use this information to our donors so they uh, when they write a proposal for our foundation they need to uh, they, they need to know how they want to use money and how they will evaluate the uh, the project what what uh, what is awarded and so on so this uh, publication was also the key instrument how we work with uh, uh, with NGOs but on one hand but on the other hand also with donors uh, in that year we have a celebration uh, 10th anniversary of the foundation and uh, we also uh, fighting because two percent of that assignation uh, was not so so easy um, uh, to it was not not so uh, normal that two percent of our, of that tax assignation will stay forever so there were a big campaign in Slovakia people for people uh, and we work with government and politicians that this law will stay uh, the campaign uh, uh, in 2007 and eight, we create a new website. Uh, it, in that time, it was uh, the highest attendance. Uh, we also uh, try, or we, we were thinking not to have a, a anonym, anonymous cam campaign to help to children, but we try to identify the problems of children or, uh, and families. 
So in that year, we identified that violence uh, in families uh, against children uh, is a crucial, crucial thing that, uh, uh, and we try also communicate it in the campaign, but we were not very satisfied with, with that because the pictures with some strong actors, with some muscles and so on, it was not really something what we like, but we tried in that year. Uh, uh, then I, may, I have mentioned that the most successful collection was in the 10th anniversary of, of, uh, of uh, the project or, or camp campaign, and um, um, we also started to, uh, with a new online application system, very easy system, and uh, I, I think it was the most modern system in Slovakia in that time. Uh, as an example, how campaign uh, was uh, in cross uh, all Slovakia was run in cross Slovakia. For example, four buses uh, draw on a regular route uh, across the country with uh, the big uh, big leaflet and logo on the board, so everybody can see. Also, uh, fast train, uh, 20 miles. Uh, on each station, you can hear that uh, the train with this and this number with name children's hour. So in every station, you can hear all, all the time for 20 months the children's hour campaign is here. Uh, this is the results of uh, uh, next level consulting uh, that we uh, must to divide all campaign on different uh, projects. And all this project has uh, his own manager. So it helps really that there is uh, some, some structure of all, all camp campaigns. Uh, the first one, no. oh, we can start here. Uh, this was uh, used from the very beginning of the campaign payroll department of uh, companies uh, which became a partner of the campaign. They asked their employees uh, to donate to, to Children's Hour campaign and uh, this is the picture of the form. Uh, the employees can, can donate the campaign um, with uh, amount um, what they want. This was one project. Was that successful this year? Uh, it was very successful at the beginning. After 10 years, uh, there are still some really old partners. They do it uh, every year. But now in, in foundation, there is no special manager who asks uh, partners for donating using department payroll department because uh, some of companies, they have their own <coughs> foundation. Some of them, they don't want to do this work with, uh, with the uh, department, and uh, some employees don't want to donate. Uh, but first and second, third year, it was really uh, uh, very successful. And uh, I think because it was because uh, the people can remember when uh, was the communist time, uh, all employees uh, know the, uh, must pay for some social fund or something like that. So it was habit there in, in some companies, in, in very, uh, in, in, in almost in all companies, were habit to donate every year. So the second, uh, the biggest project of all campaign was TV show, and till today it is really very. Um, very big deal uh, to, to work with uh, media and uh, and with a lot of thousand actors, singers, volunteers, and a lot of stuff around that. And uh, it's really uh, impressive at the end, but it is also expensive. So we must have, or we, we must do two type of fundraising. One fundraising is uh, or fundraise for, camp for TV show or campaign. And the second fundraising is we ask people to donate to grant program. You know, we, we must to pay for, for this, uh, this TV show. So it's 
really. Together we, we fundraise a lot of money, but not everything is going to, to, uh, to the help to, to people or to children. Uh, the third project is the, we decided to, to organize a beneficial auction of uh, photographic uh, or pictures from Slovak and famous Slovak and Czech photographs. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we started it uh, for the first time, everybody say, oh, pictures or photographs, uh, you can sell it. Nobody will pay for that. Uh, first year, we, uh, we put pictures in a, in a, in a, in a uh, when, you, when we walk in the street, you can see some, uh, some spaces uh, and you can put them whatever you want so it was on the street and we raised really a little amount of money but the second and the third year we uh, we asked for cooperation of a company for auction uh, for modern art and they work uh, with us and they pick up the, the pictures they pick up authors of, of, um, photographers and they organize whole auction like a really big event uh, then, uh, then we raise uh, you can see uh, it's really nice nice amount in, in one 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 event one one evening actually and today this event is something in, in a, a portfolio of a project or programs in foundation is something like event for VIP people and partners because the level of <coughs> organizing is so um, it's so it it not it is not for people walking uh, in the street. It's really s something what people like to <coughs> attend, and they they have a uh, there's <coughs> also picture from wine. They we put together the pictures and and wine, the best wine from uh, Slovak production. So now it is something like celebration, a annually ce celebration. Then we decided after five or six years, we decided that we must do something on the street. So uh, mm, uh, we, uh, we arrange or we ask uh, our grantees and our friends to organize a collection by their own. So it was, uh, for example, this is a, a folk club and they they organize a dancing performance and they also design a new Hugo there. So I like this photo because it is so funny. <laughs> or strange. <laughs> so it's not Halloween? <laughs> no, it is not. Uh, this is also the question about politicians in, in campaign. Um, actually, it's true that if there are politicians that you like, you also like to to uh, be somehow with them or to ask of money from them but if there is somebody who don't like that then you don't ask but we we decided to do that on in parliament and parliament there are all parties there and all politicians and sometimes we use it uh, like uh, sometimes they they compete uh, uh, that that who uh, which party more. yeah yeah which party Perfect. donate uh, <laughs> more so sometimes it is funny sometimes not but we try to be in parliament <laughs> <laughs> and there are some collections here I have here some examples of of these uh, boxes we can send it whoever will organize collection we can send it and they can make this. So, there are some also the, this is the space for advertisement here the partner of collection and why we uh, uh, break it to you don't need to make official <coughs> you don't have no, an election yeah, law? yeah we, no we uh, every organization can have uh, their own boxes and we use this uh, I don't know how yeah, to say yeah but you don't need to, to, to put this right. to the local local government to open it and so on no no, oh. no, it's different between Czech Republic mm -hmm. and Slovakia. Nice. Yeah. We open it in, mm -hmm. in the office. Let's do in collections our in Slovakia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and could, they, could they keep some of the money themselves? 
Because no, no, they are well. volunteers. They are yeah, volunteers. Mm -hmm. We, they are. Uh, uh, probably, it is the same uh, amount of money, or, or the, the number of uh, of cities are involved in the campaign. But but man people who manage uh, some region, they are paid very little. They manage their volunteer in the in that country or in that area. But uh, volunteers are not paid. You know, I mean, if it's your grantees, and they would get a grant from you anyway, but now we don't pay grantees. We no, organize the board. Could they keep some money for their own project, not for them th themselves, but for no, their project? No, no, no. They, they must. No, this is a, a, a other thing. Grant program is an other thing that uh, all money goes to uh, to fund. And then we uh, have a call for proposal, and uh, grantees could be awarded one year. They are successful or not? Another no. So. Uh, there are also two companies uh, which we work a long time. Uh, one is uh, one is um, which uh, I have. This is not very nice. I don't like it because I'm an architect and I'm really sensitive of this uh, design. But anyway, <laughs> they produce uh, some cards, Christmas cards and, or birthday cards or whatever. I was in a company and uh, the, the Christmas cards and birthday cards was only one part of the big uh, cards uh, connected with church and uh, distributed to the Latin America. <laughs> so it was so surprise for me when I visited for the first time. But they want to help us and they want to be connected somehow with, with us because we were so famous. So they came to us and they said that we, we will print for your special catalog and edition and everybody who wants to uh, have a Christmas card is very, uh, very nice. <coughs> that the, Everybody who will, uh, who will, um, uh, who wants to have these Christmas cards, that uh, he must pay w amount and person or two person or five person, I don't know. Today, uh, will go to to the foundation or to the campaign. And the second one is a company who offer the, uh, some presents to businesses. So. They also has uh, some information about partnership on his uh, best website. Oh, this is the the uh, the website of the second company. So, uh, and uh, there is information. Then, if you if you buy the products, a percent of the product of your what you pay is going to the children's house. So, we like it. They like it. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. It's not uh, not so much money, but, but you know, how found is collected with these different kind of project. Uh, that that is why that is uh, actually this is the key idea I want to show that when you fundraise or you you have a lot to do with fundraising, it's uh, good to divide it on separate project and then you have a clear what the, who is doing what and who is responsible for what and how much money goes from these activities and how much money goes from, from this. Okay. <coughs> and this is what is, ah, this is the new thing. I, I uh, don't work on this, but uh, this is the, the way where we were thinking uh, to go is to have a, a lot of uh, 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 donors who support regularly every month uh, uh, the campaign or the, uh, the project. So do you have them or <coughs> uh, There are only few and I'm not sure if we, it will work because I am a donor, I was a donor of, of the campaign and when I stopped the donate the campaign nobody called me and asked me why are you stopping. So now I so I, I'm not sure if it will work because it is only in the uh, in our website. And approximately how many contacts you collected from all these collections and events and activities? 
Uh, this is tricky that it was anonymous uh, uh, people who supported the uh, campaign uh, using SMS or we, we have no contact, only this VIP event, uh, people who, who uh, donate uh, in event uh, where we have uh, photographs and vines, there are people, it's about 300 people, but other are anonymous don uh, donators. Uh, and the last question, if you calculate expenses given to these uh, campaigns, <coughs> what is the balance? How much you spend for all these activities to raise 200,000? Um, <coughs> I, I can't uh, uh, remember just now exactly for each project, but we, uh, we wanted or we tried to keep it on 10, 20 percent. But when I pick up the TV show, it's much more. TV show is really expensive, mm -hmm. very expensive. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, people knows about the, know about the, the logo, about the name, about the campaign, about the, the facts where money goes through TV TV show. So TV show is special. Uh, but the general, we we wanted to keep it on ten. 20% is really the highest percent of... Because it's not that much money from such a campaign. Yeah, yeah, a famous no, it's organization. There is a lot of volunteers, there is, there is a lot of partners. Who I, pass I, for I free. think the income is not that high. Yeah, no. all actors are for free in campaign or, or in, or for example, these and other. Everybody is uh, like volunteer. So agency who is, uh, who is working or on spots, they work for free. And do you think such a massive campaign also with involving TV trains which belong probably to the state-owned railways, would it be possible the topic is different than children? Because like children is like a very uncontroversial thing to politicians at least. Or like if it's like let's say pets then it's similar. But what we see in Czech Republic that people quite easy donate to like topics like this. But if you, let's say, take something which is like controversial for society or for the politicians, then it's much more difficult to raise a campaign like that because they don't give you the space. In the uh, we don't care about the other other issue. We okay. are no, I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just our issue was the children, and we try to do the best. You feel it's transferable to different topics, like so, let's say. Uh, really, water. sometimes people say me that you are like. Uh, Bulldozer, that we were everywhere, so, <laughs> but we want to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And uh, in spontaneous, a spontaneous. Now, uh, when we make a research and uh, spontaneous ask people if they know children's have a campaign in Hugo, and it's ninety nine percent of of recognition of the logo, so it it works. <laughs> so I understand your question, but I think it's what we heard this morning from the Hungarian uh, civil liberty fund. It is. Remember that cartoon? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a very, very complicated message, but if you can narrow it down to something simple, mm -hmm. and I agree that's our challenge, if it's because children mm -hmm. is a little bit easier than mm -hmm. like. Yeah, no, yeah, I understand that. Like saying, like getting into TV, which is state owned, mm -hmm. or. But do you really need TV? Can it helps it online? It helps it on radio. Yeah, yeah, but it helps a lot in coverage. It is a question that actually, no, it is a question to us. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and the also railway it, also. It, it would be interesting for me, now I work in TV and I try to work independent, like an independent fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And it might be challenging for me when uh, when somebody from the really hard team or, or tough team asked me, let's help us, and it was not children. <coughs> Of course, but for example, now when I work uh, uh, in TV, uh, there is a new project on uh, preparing to this uh, Christmas, and they ask me which charity should be there because the project will will take uh, one month, and the peak uh, there were, there will be four peak uh, uh, each each Sunday, and I I press them or I push them that. Uh, there is also other charities, not only children, and I'm lucky that there is not a Bene project, and there is a white pencil, it's blind people, and also some old, old, old uh, civic association return is for orphanage to going to the families, uh, or orphans going to the families. So 
Uh, it's challenging. So what, what should be on TV or not? But when I work in the foundation, like a director, is not yeah, my. Yeah, we not have always had uh, <coughs> experience in always checking. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, oh. there are two. Yeah. Yeah. So the, this is, uh, I will go very quickly. Uh, one really key element of this uh, of this uh, next level uh, methodology is to break down what are you doing and uh, divide it on 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 different tasks. So this is only for the illustration how we did, we did it and what are what are the results of such a style of managing work and all foundations plans there are some principles i don't have uh, i don't have time you will have it on on the presentation at home uh, and all foundations work look like this this is a plan for for a year so it helps a lot there are four pillars three pillars actually programmatic pillars one two three this is uh, managing this is this is my pillar of course this is a uh, Administration. There are uh, there are um, economists, office management, and and, uh, <coughs> and these four, uh, three programmatic pillars means that uh, in foundation we have three senior manager responsible for team and also the project manager, and each project has uh, his own uh, its own donors and uh, some. Uh, timelines and uh, budgets, so it's only for, uh, for illustration how it I didn't see fundraising. Sorry, was fundraising? Was fundraising? I think yeah, there was fundraising. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, it was the last one. The last one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All managing a, such a big organization is fundraising. Thank you very much. Thank you.